my beautiful ladies, it's Greta here, Ladies Relationship Coach. And today, my queens, let's talk about texting. What not to text to a guy. Ladies, texting in a relationship is very important. This is how we stay in touch. In so many ways, we turn guys off just by texting in the wrong way. Therefore, in this video, I will share with you two conversations where the girls over pursued a guy and he lost interest like that. So make sure to watch this video till the end not to make these mistakes. So the first conversation is where the girl over pursued a guy and turned him off. So we got Jessica here, right? And she says, she's sending the message to the guy and she says, hey, how are you? What you're up to? I'm so, bo I'm so bored. So she is already the one starting the conversation first and pursuing a guy, right? And saying that I'm so bored actually makes you pretty low value because she's basically saying, please entertain me. I cannot make myself happy. I'm bored. My life is boring. That's not very attractive. Then he says, hey, I'm busy, what's up? So now he actually does sound pretty high value. He says, I'm busy, I have a, I have a life, but what's up? Then she says, do you want to meet up tonight? I'm free. So she's actually putting herself on a plate and inviting herself over. And then Jessica here sends a sexy pic to seduce a guy so he would meet up with her tonight, right? She's like, look at me, I'm so pretty. Do you want to meet tonight, right? So she's putting herself on a plate and she's over pursuing guy, right? What he does, he basically responds to the picture but he doesn't say yes or no, right? And then she says, see you tonight anyway, let me know, I will come over. So she keeps pursuing him, she keeps turning him off. Ladies, a man loves a woman who is a challenge. A guy does not put much value on something that comes easy. And then he doesn't respond to that and she says hi, so she triple texts him. He says hey and then she says where are you, what you up to, can I come? So she keeps putting herself on a plate and she keeps pursuing the guy. And then she says, are you out in Soho? My friend saw you in Soho with some guys. Now she sounds like a total stalker and she keeps pursuing him. And he says, I told you I'm busy. Like the guy didn't confirm that he's coming or not. So he's actually being polite and he just replies, I told you I'm busy. And then she says, you are always too busy for me, so that's nagging and complaining. We never see each other complaining. It's all about you and your friends complaining. Um, I sometimes think you are just using me. Ladies, when you say to a guy, are you using me? Am I in it just for sex, right? You're undervaluing yourself. No of a high value woman will ever say, are you using me? Because she knows her own value, therefore she knows that the guy sees her value too. But the girl who has low self-esteem, low value, she's insecure, so she asks questions, are you using me? And the guy senses that. By asking a question, are you using me, you're actually showing your insecurities, which again is unattractive. Then she says, can you call me? Uh, so she's now acting desperate. So first she was nagging, complaining, then showing her insecurities, and then sounding desperate. And he's like totally turned off. He's saying, I'm going to sleep, sorry. Then she says, well, you obviously don't care if you can't sleep. So she's overreacting when she says bye, like a little threat, kind of chase me, I'm not interested, bye. The guy is quite high value and he sees that she's going crazy, so he's not responding. And then in the morning, she's still acting insecure. So she's texting him, good morning. I'm sorry, I overreacted. Now, Jessica Han, you need some high value coaching. I really recommend you to get Greta for one-on-one -on -one because this needs to be fixed. If some of you are acting just like Jessica and pursuing the guy and putting yourself on a plate, 
I really suggest you to follow this link and get my texting video, which is for sale on my website. Now, the second part, yes, I've got two phones, is where the guy pursued a girl because he was interested. Then she overtook it and she turned him off. So let's look at that. So he says, hey, gorgeous. He's, she says, hey, he says, how are you feeling? I'm so hangover from last night. She says, oh my God, me too, still in bed. And he says, still in bed, do you want me to bring you a hangover cure? So he's kind of writing himself at the last minute. High value girl would not accept the last minute. She says, depends what it is. So she's flirting because she's interested. He says, I assure you it works. So he's being cheeky. Uh, she says, sure, but only if you promise to behave. So she's flirting. Then he says, of course, be there in a minute. So she accepts the last minute, right? Um, ladies, when you accept the last minute, you show that you have a lot of free time on your hands. All right, you're not, people are not very valued when be always available. Don't be available, instead be valued. Make a guy value and respect your time. The only way a guy will value and respect your time when he does not see you until the last minute, when he doesn't just click his fingers and he can see you right there the same second, okay? So she says, okay, right, then in the morning she texts him first and she says, morning, thanks for looking after me last night and the soup was really nice of you. Okay, he says, no problem, God, glad you liked it. So, so far it's not too bad. She is texting him first the next day, but it's still kind of not too bad. And then she pursues him and she says, when can I see you again? So obviously he charmed her last night. So now she is pursuing him and she says, when can I see you again? And then he says, oh, I'm flying out to the States in the next few days. So he says, I'm busy, right? And she says, I know you're probably incredibly busy planning everything before flying out, but if you have any spare time at all, I had love to be able to take you out for dinner. If you could find time, just let me know and I guess what cuisine you like. So basically what she's doing now, over pursuing him, she's going out of her way to kind of sweep him off his feet. Right now, let's see what the guy says. Now the guy says he sends a message to his friend and he says, what do you think of this message? It put me off so much. The friend says, hey, why? And then he says, it's just too easy. There is no more chase or something. I feel like she's in love with me already because she's asking him out. Will you go for dinner? He says, perhaps, but not really that bothered, to be honest. Ladies, this is how you over pursue a guy and you turn him off. Ladies, when the guy is pursuing you, just respond to it. Let him pursue you. Enjoy it. You're the lady. He's pursuing you. He's giving you. Take it and enjoy it. Yes, you can appreciate it and be all happy, but that's about it. Let him give you and let him pursue you. Because when he pursues you and he charms you and then you overtake him because you like him so much, you're turning him off. You're turning him off by being too easy, by pursuing him. It's his job to pursue you, not yours. Ladies, watch my video, How to Be a Challenge for a Guy, and you can find it just by following the link right here. Also, another video I would really recommend you, I have another texting video that I'm breaking down for you, very needy, naggy messages, which you can find that free video just by following the link right here as well, okay? It is just to add another little tiny weeny tip, which happens a lot. What the guys do a lot nowadays, especially nowadays when we have snaps, right? So on Snapchat or Instagram or Facebook stories, we watch the stories, we like it, and then we're waiting for you. Maybe you're going to text him first. 
right? So ladies, if the guy is continuously watching your stories and he is like and he has liked or loved your story, yes, he pursued you a little bit, but definitely not enough for you to take over. If he wants you to reply to his stuff, he needs to send you an actual message. If he loved your story or he sent some kind of emoji, you can put a thumbs up. But that's about it. Give him time to pursue you. And if his goal is to have a conversation with you or to chat with you, when he sees that his little tricks don't work, he'll have no choice but to pursue you. Please, when you are chasing the guy, he cannot chase you because you're chasing him. If you want a guy to chase you, stay patient. Practice patience and emotional control. So if you like this video, please press like, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Let me know in the comments below what do you think. Join Greta's High Value Woman School where we are all in the same boat learning how to be a woman of high value and bring out the best in our men. Follow me on my Instagram. My Instagram is private. It's ladies only. It's called Ladies Relationship Coach. And if you would like some one-on-one -on -one coachings, check out my prices and packages on my website and I'll be there to hold your hand. Thank you so much for watching. Have a beautiful day. Kisses from London. Mwah.